Okay, so I'm just going to open this up with you. Um, there are three things that I actually ordered from the Positive Teacher Planner, um, but I am going to go through mainly the, the actual Teacher Planner itself to show you what is inside. Um, oh, I do really like how this is wrapped, actually. Um, it's got a cute little sticker. I'm as excited as you are, which is really cute. I'll zoom in on that. Um, so, yeah, as I was saying, I ordered three things. I ordered the planner. I also ordered a notepad uh, and a matching notebook with um, the planner. So I will show you all three things that I ordered. Um, just get this open. But I will go through the actual, or just for you to see if you're interested in the actual um, diary planner itself, what's inside. Okay, so the first thing I can see is, oh, that's really cute. Um, a nice little envelope with my name on. So excited to see what's in there. I'll get that open first and then we'll go through the other things that I've bought. Really like the pen that she's used actually. Um, okay, so it looks like a postcard. So the best start to being a great teacher is when you plan to be from the positive teacher. That's really nice. And then you can support small businesses like the positive teacher company without spending a penny. So that's about supporting uh, small businesses and she's got a Facebook and Instagram link on there. And then this is a thank you um, note or card from Rachel herself. Thank you so much for choosing to purchase from my little business, The Positive Teacher Company. And just about supporting small businesses. I do know that she is placed in based in Leeds. I did one year actually buy um, the sort of American version on the American Teacher Plan R, so like an Erin Condren basically, but it just got really expensive. So it is nice to see that there is a UK version. Um, and then there's something about a mantra as well in there, which um, just let that focus. This year, my personal mantra is, and that's nice, something probably to keep inside the teacher planner. So I'll put those back in the envelope and then I will show you what else I have got. Okay, so um, as you can see, I've got the teacher planner and I've also got the matching notebook. So this is the notebook that goes with the teacher planner. You can get all sorts of designs all to match your actual planner itself, which is nice. So that will come in definitely handy for next year. Just put that to a side. Um, and obviously this is the teacher planner. And the third thing I bought, which I just thought would be really nice for like parents evening, just making notes of, or like when you take intervention groups, um, it's basically this notepad and it's just got little, it's some marking and feedback record, but I just think it, it I, I, initially I bought it because I thought it would be quite nice making notes on for parents to take for parents evening and things like that. Okay, let's get this planner open now. So like I said, there are different designs and um, there are different options to choose from when you come to buy the planner. You can also get your name on it. Um, I just got the plain one um, and this is the design that I chose. Um, so it just says teach planner 2020-2021. Um, and this is the design that I really liked. Um, and yeah, and that's why I got the matching notebook as well. So when you first open it up, um, oh, this is where I probably keep my notebook actually. That's quite helpful and like stickers and just things like that. Okay, so it says, say hello to your new TPTC planner 2021. Dear Positive Teacher, thank you very much for supporting my small business and having your very own TPTC planner. Our team crafted it with great love, care and passion for our profession with valuable feedback from our community of teachers. We dearly hope that you love it too. As a company run by teachers, your support means a great deal to us. We built the planner as a happy place for teachers full of pos positivity and pride in our profession. Okay, and then once you open that up, it's got a page that says teacher focus and you've got the about me section uh, right at the top. So you've got name, email and position, which is quite good. Um, and then my goals for this year, so they've got three goals, I'm guessing one for every term. Um, and then a section for usernames and passwords, which I always, always find really handy and helpful. So you can have like your Twinkle, TES password, things like that, or Sims. And then on the next page, um, it's got information for your supply teacher, basically. Um, if you've got a supply in or another, like a, another teacher covering your class, then it's just handy to have a page for them like things to know break duties things like that um, and then on the next page it says professional development um, so you've got targets for development at the top again you've got three I'm guessing one for each term um, and then you've got it says training evaluation actions 
on the side there and then you've got a mid-year review with a little to-do section at the top and then if we go on to the next page it's got this year's actions so it's basically like a to-do list um, but in order of importance if you like so it's I always find it nice to write out my to-do list because I get excited about crossing them off so you've got the top bit which is the urgent and the bit at the bottom the not so urgent and you've got two whole pages of that um, which is plenty <laughs> Okay, and then on the next page, you've got useful teacher finds, so like apps, websites that you find really helpful, um, blogs, books that you want to read or have read or that have been recommended to you. Again, I, I, that's quite a nice idea, actually. Um, and then again, podcasts, social media accounts. So a lot of basically inspiration. And then you've got 10 ways I'm going to promote positivity in my classroom this year. Now on her actual website, she's got templates um, and she's got templates to also match the covers of the, so when you buy one, she sends you an email and you can download it. So the 10 ways I'm going to promote positivity in my classroom this year, and you can print up, print off these templates, stick them in, I'm guessing, and then fill them out. So you've got 10 different things of how you're going to, promote positivity in your classroom so it could be from like class dojos rewards things like that which is quite nice okay and then if we turn to the next page we've got every child needs a hero and this is one of my favorite bits actually of the planner um and it's the group section because from in our school we have int intervention groups we have tuition groups we've got reading writing maths groups um so it's nice to have even like a page for for maths because you've got the purpose at the top so you can have like the maths the reading the writing the tuition groups and there are a lot of these pages which is very useful if there are only two pages i don't think i'd be as interested but um i know this section will definitely be filled <laughs> so there's quite a few of these pages which is really helpful especially well i find it helpful being in year six but yeah okay after that we've got the intervention plans um so you've got three sections you've got the outline the pupils and the staff and the time again for like sen intervention um reading intervention and again you have a few pages of intervention and then followed by the pupil focus um, so you've got the pupil name and then the target and then the actions and then again we've got a few pages of these and again, as you write each one, I'll probably just highlight through and maybe do it per term as well. Um, so yeah, that's a really helpful thing to have in a teacher planner. Okay, and then we move on to the calendar actually. Um, so we've got, by the end of this year, I want to, and then my 2021 um, resolution after that in the next section. And then you've got ways I'm going to put my wellbeing first, things I'm grateful for, something I'm excited about this year, um, a positive teacher quote for the year which is nice uh, at the bottom holidays concerts parties this year and um, something new I'm going to try this year so something you can fill out at the start of every year which is nice and then when you flick through to the next um, let just get this open to the next page in the calendar it says let today be the start of something amazing and then you've got an appointment section, which um, again, like parents evening, um, things like when we go to PGL and just things like that, that would definitely be useful. Just having appointments for like the different parents evenings and things like that. This bit I really, really like because um, it's got important dates and they're just so it's basically important dates for a teacher. So it's got things like uh, Roll Dahl Day, World Book Day, Black History Month. Um, anti-bullying week, Christmas jumper day, just things that, important dates basically that you need to know about for a school teacher. So here we've got International Literacy Day. Um, in October, you can see we've got uh, four different things happening in March, World Book Day, fourth. Um, so basically you don't forget these dates. Um, and then if there are any more, you can just fill them in. So there aren't any maths days I've noticed, but yeah, we can get those filled in. <laughs> okay, so then the calendar starts. And again, what I like about this is that I, I'm the type of person that with a diary or a calendar, I like seeing the month as a whole. So you can do this on here. So you've got double page for August, which is where it starts off. Um, and then also you've got a section on the side of each month, which is for the notes. 
Um, and I also think the boxes are quite big enough to fill out. But then, um, yeah, and you've got the grey bit as well, which you can also just put extra notes in or stickers or whatever, or just reminders. So each month, again, as you can see, it's just a double page and it's the same thing. I keep flicking through. So that's April. Okay. So once uh, we go after July, which is the last month, um, we've got a section that says things to remember this year, which is nice. Again, extra notes in there, bullet points, listing things, maybe events and things like that. And then you've got a uh, term plan. So you've got a long term plan um, and you've got six terms in there. Um, I don't know if the boxes are big enough for my writing, but yeah, we've got the six terms at the top. But um, what I'd like to do is another review of how I filled it out. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how I choose to use this. OK, if I show you the next page after that, just zoom in a bit. Um, it says, be the teacher that you needed when you were younger, which is quite nice. I do like the little inspiration quotes that you get. And you've got the timetable. Um, they've actually given you three timetables. So again, one for every term. Um, our timetables do change every half term. So I might split each page or stick it onto, stick it down onto something first. So I have two timetables per page, but again, I'll, I will record another one in a few months time to show you how I've used it. So again, we've got uh, this term, ideas for the term, and then on the side, resources I need, uh, things that I need to do, important events. I might use this as a, um, like a curriculum page, so like things that I need to get ordered for maths and things like that. Um, and then you've got the term planner. So you've got all the days of the week at the top and then you've got a nice big note section. Um, and then you've got eight things on the side. And then on the next page, again, resources that I might need, things I need to do. And it goes on. So again, I'm not quite sure how if I'm, I'm not sure how I'm going to use the term planner as such. But again, like I said, I will record um, another video in a few months to show you how I have use the planner and yeah we've got loads of these pages so I'll try just show you the next section which is the weekly plans if I can find it okay so when we get to the weekly plans um that's a nice bit of seating plan there actually which I will definitely be doing in pencil <laughs> maybe keep it in pencil as it turns tends to change a lot or I might split this page Again, I'll show you how I use it later. So on the top, it says PPA day, management time, uh, schemes of work, staff network essentials, uh, members of staff with expertise, SEND considerations, and then you get onto the weekly wellbeing review, which is quite nice. Um, so basically, you rate your wellbeing every week. Um, so hopefully, I won't be busy enough to fill this out. And then on the next page, you get a double page of basically every week. Um, I mean, with the August, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to write in there. Um, but yeah, so you just get all of these weekly pages. But I'm not quite sure how I'm going to use the weekly pages either. Maybe just to go over what's been covered, just like a summary maybe. Um, because obviously planning is just done online or on the system. So yeah, right now I'm not sure how I'm going to use or how well I am going to use the weekly pages. Um, but if I go on to the next section, um, which are the meeting section, just flick through. Okay, so it's got evaluating my year. Uh, if we have a look at that, so it says my best lesson this year was at the top. Um, something new I tried this year. I just fold it over so I can show you. Need the camera. Let's zoom in a bit. Okay, that's better. My best lesson this year was, and then you've got best way I looked after my well-being, something new I tried this year, next year I would like to change, my favourite moment this year, um, a colleague who put a smile on my face, best child's quote this year, and I've been amazing this year, this uh, teacher this year because, and this, again, something to fill out. Um, I do like that this planner just promotes a lot of positivity. 
Um, over here, we've got staff meeting section, staff briefings, people progress meeting, CPD training. Um, so, yeah, there is just one page of that. But, yeah, again, I'm not sure how I'd meet. I'd fill that out, but we'll see. Um, and then you've got your large sort of meeting section. So um, staff training, insets, uh, maybe meetings on certain children. Um yeah, so again, they've given you more than enough pages to to use and fill this out. Again, I might divide this section. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to use it yet. And then you've got the actions at the bottom, which are really, really important. I've noticed there's uh, quite a lot of... Like, there's a lot to write, basically. There's a lot to fill. There's a lot of space to fill. You won't be um, out of pages to write anything. So now I'm thinking slightly, why did I buy that notebook but again I, I'll see how I use it okay so the next bit the briefings are split into three sections then if I keep flicking through you've got the last part so the last part is the assessment page um, so you've got contents at the top and then you've got the calendar at the bottom so it's quite actually uh, nice to have a contents of assessment um, just dividing it for each subject each topic um, and you've got yeah the assessment calendar at the bottom as well which is really useful um, and then you've got lots of assessment sheets which you could cross-reference to the assessment uh, contents over here and you've got 16 headings that you can have. Um, so you do have 35, which is plenty. Um, and again, you could possibly just write the names in the first section and then fold the rest of the sheets over so you don't have to keep writing the names of the children. Um, but there are plenty, plenty of sheets, so you definitely won't run out. If you want to use one for health and children are reading, homework, logging homework, uh, test scores. Um, but yeah, I just thought it would be nice to just unbox and show you what's inside the TPTC planner um, in case anyone was wondering uh, whether or wanted to know whether to buy it or not. Um, I will definitely, definitely, definitely in a few months film it again with how I filled it out just to show you what sections I have found useful, which sections maybe not or just like an honest review on it. Um, but yeah, so far I am so glad that I did get the teacher planner. Um, it's not expensive at all um, and I do think it's worth an investment. It's basically everything in one one place you've got your mark book your assessments your planning all put together your diary all put together basically 